It's Johnny Joel's I'm Here at Home, and I just recently ordered a bunch of discs on eBay for resurfacing. Um, game discs like Midnight Club here is worth quite a bit of money, but you can get them for nothing. Because, see this ring? This ring was actually caused by the console being turned on to the side. Well, so people get rid of these in lots, they don't work. I will tell you today how to resurface your games, DVDs, or whatever, with a Dremel, toothpaste, and about an hour of your time. Um, it's not that hard to do. It works. Um, last night, I fixed Bioshock. No problem. In fact, I'll show you before and after right now. Beforehand, you'll see the ring on the, on the game. And then afterwards, you'll notice that the ring is very diminished. It installed 100%. No problems. Now, you want a soft uh, head for your drill. And you want one that's sort of wide. Uh, I have used the, the smaller heads, but... Thermally, I don't think they're a good idea. You want to keep this Dremel on the lowest setting. And you want to make sure, like I said, that head is very wide. You want a larger uh, circumference on it. Because the uh, smaller heads tend to get hotter faster. And you can run the risk of melting the disc. That's not really that big of a risk. Unless you're staying in one spot forever. And you become, um, what's the word? Uh, um, impatient. So don't, beca don't become impatient Sit back and watch a frickin' movie and just go around this thing. I'll teach you guys how to do that and the technique I use for it. First and foremost, I want to verify that this doesn't work. I already know it doesn't work, but I want you guys to know it doesn't work. So I'm going to put it in the 360. I'm going to hit the install button, and you'll see that it'll freeze um, because this is screwed. All right, we're at 17%. There's some disc sounds going. There we go. 17%. And let me get close so you guys can read this. Can't read this disc, it may be scratched or dirty. Clean the disc with a soft cloth and try again. Okay, so we made to 17% and we just can't get any farther. Let's verify that one more time because I want you to be sure this damn thing doesn't work. All right, we are creeping up on 17%. Let's see if it does it again. And it stopped moving. There we go. Once again, cannot read the disc. Let's fix this thing. I'm going to put a mark on this so you know it's the same disc. Verify that it has a ring around it. Put some toothpaste on it. Not too much. That is plenty. We're going to use that for the entire resurfacing. We shouldn't have to replace that. We might have to if it's bad enough, but I use this much. And I will keep dipping the Dremel into water to keep it from overheating. And to keep this from evaporating. Well, it will will evaporate. <clears throat> We're going to keep adding water to it to keep the toothpaste supple. Toothpaste, of course, has fluoride in it. And it's a mild abrasive. And uh, let's not talk anymore about what else it could be. And... Uh, Takes about an hour of your time, and we'll see if it installs next time. I'm going to dip this into water. Keep this on the lowest setting, obviously. Now you're going to see a video where I repaired another game, SmackDown vs. Raw, I think it was, or Grand Theft Auto or something like that. That one actually went poorly because I got way too impatient and ended up cracking the disc, or melting the disc, yes. Um, also, I made sure to use a larger head this time. I've messed around enough with this to know what not to do and we're going to start working from the center to the uh, outside and we're going to go in straight lines then i like to go back and forth and then straight lines then back and forth over and over until the uh, circle is pretty much diminished either entirely or almost like 90 percent gone that should be good enough you go back and forth like that you see that you got that yeah, go back and forth. Now you want to do this all the way around, okay? And light pressure. Light pressure. All right, it's been about 22 minutes because I just watched King of the Hill and we're already making great progress here. Notice how wet that I'm keeping this thing. Uh, if it gets too dry, it'll actually dig into the disc. If you feel it grabbing, add more freaking water to it. All right, 44 minutes and it is definitely fading away. Barely visible mostly water and you can see the water over here is a bit foamy yes 
So now we're using more bubbles and just the uh, abrasiveness of the cotton itself to uh, polish out the very small scratches that we put on with the toothpaste. Okay, this is about 55 minutes in. The line is still visible, but just barely. A lot cleaner looking disc. Let's see if it works. All right, we're putting the game in now. Let's see how fast it reads. All right, that's way faster than it read before. So let's go ahead and see if it'll install. All right, we are happening on 17%. Let's see what happens. Eighteen percent. See if it gets to twenty. Twenty percent. Well, I will come back when it's finished. We are at seventy-seven percent complete. All right, we're at ninety-eight percent. Whenever we finish up, I'll take the disc out and uh, and show you that it's the same disc that I worked on and it should complete any second now there we go 100% game installed uh, unfortunately with this thing I have to kind of uh, yeah see if I can get this thing out okay come on all right come on you bastard all right <sighs> yeah, yeah, hold it. <laughs> Same disc. Now you might see some micro scratches here from that Dremel. That does not matter at all to the, uh, laser the laser does not care at all about those tiny little scratches because you can't see them like that and the laser can't either so we're good all right and we are playing ah yep uh well just because you are able to fix it this doesn't exactly mean you're going to be a better gamer anyways until next time it's Johnny Jones, I'm here at home, and I'll see you later. Copy of Bioshock. You'll notice all these god-awful looking scratches, and you think, my god, that looks probably worse than it did before. No, actually, it's, it's quite alright. Hello. Yeah, I shaved my head. It's just fine. Those small surface scratches don't really matter to the laser at all. Um, if you want to clean those up, of course you can. You just have to go around with water a bunch of times. But they don't really matter. They really don't matter. Uh, the big thing is that the big-ass circle is gone. Well, you can see it slightly still. Just a little slightly there. But works just fine now. Perfectly fine. 100% installation. Okay. No joke. There's AIM. AIM toothpaste. I don't know if you can use this toothpaste or any, any sort of other toothpaste. But this toothpaste uh, is multi-benefit. And... It's, it's cool and refreshing, but it's got a little grit to it. That's grits what we need, the gritty grits. You like grits? Me too. Anyways, so this might leave some residue. It'll look kind of cloudy, but you want to take some dish soap, like, I don't know, your Ajax soap or your Dove soap, but your wife will get pissed off. And then anyways, you can wash it down with that afterwards because it leaves a little, 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 little stuff on the, on the disc like a, like a polish, but it's white, but it's white. Yeah, okay. And then, and, uh, oh yeah, I need this thing. It's like a gun, but not really. This thing, watch, it goes like that. See? Now you see this little end there? Get a good, 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 good shot of that. Alright. It's a fluffy end, like a cotton ball, sort of, right? But you want that, and then you want this little dentist cup with water. See? That's just regular water. No tricks. No tricks. I even drink it. No, I'm not going to drink it. I don't know what's in it. It's just water though. Anyway, so you take this and you put it down. Is that in view? It's in, it's good, okay. 
and then you, and, and there's a disc. See? Ah, oh, look at that. It's just, it's 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 blinding her. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you so you take that, it looks awful, right? It's just awful. And then you take some of this here. Aim toothpaste. Not sponsored. And then don't fill my face. I'm just kidding. And you take a little bit, you put right here, like that. And then, and then like that. And then that's a bit much. But you know, just kinda just you know, lather, lather and rinse. Or not really, but first I'll show you this how. Yeah, I do this. Yeah. This video is going well. So you take it and you take your finger. You can use any one, just, but that one's what I use. Anyways. And you put it on there like that. Yeah, kind of like that. But make sure you observe this pattern. It's very critical. No, not really. But anyways, then you take this here and you dip it in your water. You turn it on. Turn it on low though. See, I got low. That's low. See, that's low. Very low. Anyways, now it's on. I don't push this button while it's on or it'll jam up and it'll fuck your dad. Dremel up. And as a kid, you just blame other people or say, don't say anything about it, but he knows. Anyway, you dip it in the water. Beside the gun. Yeah, that's cool. Looks like a little... <laughs> Anyways. So then, then you take your uh, fiancé who's on film, and you just get her really wet with this shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You go back and forth like that. You see that? You got that? Yeah, go back and forth. Now you want to do this all the way around, okay? And light pressure. Light pressure. Don't go in there like you, like you, you want to, uh, think of it like a woman. Think of it like a nice woman that I would never touch because I am a faithful man. And uh, very gently. Otherwise, you will crack the son of a bitch. I will show you examples of that crack. <laughs> Anyways, you do that all around. And then, well, you know what, I'll just catch back up with you when, when, when I'm done.